hello and welcome to Occupy McAllen TV. You may be wondering what Occupy McAllen TV is. It's basically when you post a video to our Occupy McAllen organizers group, you become part of Occupy McAllen TV. So how about that? Um, I'm, uh, I'm actually filming this. That's kind of a side joke, half truth, half not. But I'm taping this um, in part because of all the reaction to the Facebook groups I created. And I know it was, uh, well, it wasn't a rush process, I just did it. Uh, and part of the reason I did it, by the way, my name is Rahul Varshne, if I forgot to introduce myself. Um, the reason I did it was that uh, a while back I wrote kind of a poem, not really much of a poem, I guess like an identity, like a we are, maybe a, I don't know if it would be a preamble, but, you know, we are mothers and and fathers, sons and daughters, etc., etc. And one of the lines I said is that we are a union of revolutionary workers. Um, and I absolutely believe that. It doesn't mean, um, you know, that uh, that there's mandatory dues, right? We're donation-based, you know? It's always going to be that way. Uh, at least, I should say, in my vision. Um, but everything's voluntary. It's come as you are, come when you can, right? Um, it's none of the guilt, it's none of the you must be there, you know, but because of that, uh, or in part of that, you know, we're leaderless, right? Uh, there is no clear leader, you know, people are taking or can take different directions. Um, and that's also the beauty of it. So what binds us together? And while we can debate on many different theories, um, there's one word really that binds us together, and that's work. The work of this movement. Um, there's those of us that choose to work to build this Occupy McAllen movement, whatever that movement's end may be, and then there's those of us that are maybe just participants, which in a way is also kind of work, because you are investing your time, um, sorry, not participating, but just viewing. So even if you're viewing this video, in a sense, you're, you're working to a degree. You're at least working this a little bit, right? Um, so maybe there's different levels, but if you're touching Occupy McCallum somewhere, if you're working for it in some way, then, then you're bound together, right? And if, if people agree with that, they may not agree with that, they may think this is something else, um, but in my mind, the one thing that I can, I can identify, at least one of the things, I've also said it's a community service organization, um, I've, I've said we're our own kind of news media, we're going to be, you know, we kind of already are, uh, the way we're sharing information. Um, but for sure, we are a union. Um, and if people disagree with that, I'd love to hear that um, because it'll help me reflect on the way I'm understanding things. But if we are a union, then um, part of what makes people in a union stick together is kind of harmonizing their work, but also being able to get organized around their work. And so one of the things I feel that, that has come up time and time again has been sign up. We've had a very poor sign up process. We've almost, I don't want to say we've lost our sign up book, that's being dramatic, but you know, at times you don't know where it is. Um, and if we're really serious about this, you know, growing, because we shrank last time, right? Um, but if we want to grow for our big events, then we've got to have an effective sign up. Now, people can opt not to sign up, just put their name, and that's fine. But some people want to have, you know, uh, whether it's a newsletter or some way of being informed or being part of an index, a directory, and we should give people that option. But for that to happen, that's, that's like a membership department. Um, and in any union, you have a membership department. So that's where the membership group came about. Um, facilitation has been an issue. That's where the facilitation group came about. Childcare has been done beautifully, but by very few people. I don't think that's fair for them. Uh, but that's my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. And I also feel that if we think of our organizer feed, sorry, the guy's blowing leaves now, but as like one feed, then um, something like childcare, which is very important, uh, can get lost in the shuffle. And without childcare, those of us that are parents, which I think are a, a majority of us or a significant amount, I don't want to put, put numbers out there, so I'm sorry if it's not a majority, but... Uh, I think we play a significant role. My son is, is four. I know I'm standing up for the youth, especially because of my son, I'll be honest. I have, a, I have a parent, so, you know, that's the way I think. I mean, I am a parent. That's the way I think. But child care is very important. And if we don't funnel people to that, then I don't think it's going to get equitably done. Um, and the people that will do it will get burned out and not want to do it again. 
Um, and so if these groups were going to be created or are necessary, I felt like why not take the time to do it. I thought I was maybe kind of, you know, doing some of the heavy lifting. Again, I maybe it was a matter of patience, but I feel like they're necessary. Um, and they're ad hoc groups. I put that term on there because that means that they're specific purpose. And we could call them re we could call them working groups if that makes more sense. But they're specifically for the purpose of figuring out childcare until there's a more permanent solution. So, um, whew, I had to get that off my chest. Um, but we can really move with this. We can really self-organize. My groups are just ideas. People can take off. Um, in Occupy Wall Street, they're doing the same thing. I spoke to Mario Rodriguez. He's a, a director of one of the um, Ask Me locals up there. And uh, Ask Me is American Federation State County Municipal, whatever. It's a big union. He's involved with Occupy Wall Street. And he told me they have working groups. So it seems like, um, it, it, you know, we'd be going in parallel with also what's happening out there. Okay. Sorry. Enough trying to pitch my idea. If it doesn't work, you know, it'll be deleted after today's general assembly meeting, I'm sure, or people won't participate. If people participate, that's their own choice, though. Um, Cold Fusion, I just want to share this story because it's pretty fascinating. Um, they're saying that they've made significant strides in energy. I'll share the link so people can critique, critique it independently. But the point is, whether you the technology exists, the, the physics of an atom is that the energy within the nucleus is one million times that what's on the surface of the atom. So I guess what I wanted to leave you guys with is, do we want to continue operating on the surface level where we're like, wow, this is something cool, you know, and then 50 of us show up? Or are we ready to start looking really deep within and go for that almost infinite energy? One million times what's on the surface is within within a nucleus of an atom. And imagine how many atoms make up our structure. Um, yeah, I don't know, that was supposed to come out a lot cooler, but you know, um, I guess this is to the wider audience, the 400 people that are out there, please get involved somehow. Um, I'm gonna plug the groups now because I believe in them. Uh, Ohm Kitchen, if you wanna cook, get involved in Ohm Kitchen, that's Occupy McCallum Kitchen. Um, if you want to be involved in the media, the uploading, capturing all the images, that's Ohm Content Management, um, Content Management Ad Hoc, whatever. Um, then, let's see, off the top of my head, Ohm Membership, dealing with sign-in. We really need to nail down the sign-in. Do people want to be a directory? Should we be able to access each other's phone numbers easily? How hard has it been for me to get a hold of people when I had a good idea? So in those moments, things can fail. Um, Ohm Outreach, uh, Elizabeth... Lomas, I think. She wanted to put together the documentary series. She had that idea on Saturday. Unless we give her a space to work, what's going to happen with that idea? And I guess that's what I'm trying to say to people, is that we have so many ideas, unless we make containers for them, things aren't going to change. I don't think so. So I'd really like people's thoughts on this. Uh, the General Assembly meeting is tonight, uh, or this evening, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Um, at Archer Park. We're doing yoga, 5 to 6 the yoga is 956 yoga, so it is a little separate, and if you do the yoga, yeah, we're asking for a buck, but it's not a big deal if you don't bring a buck. Um, the General Assembly meeting, again, is 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, we're going to start out with a five-minute gratitude meditation. Um, oh, and by the way, we probably need a treasury group, too. I mean, this is just real stuff, guys, and we can start operating like we're a union and at least understand the structure. I hope that's what I can share in my experience is the structure of what I, the mistakes I made in my past as a union organizer. Um, or we're gonna, I think, be always kind of in this tense place. So I think people um, can really take off with these groups. I think we need to advertise them properly. Uh, I'm gonna put together a tutorial today. Um, and if people don't use them, guess what? They fade away. But this is, if this really is a leaderless organization, then we've at least got to unify around the work of the organization. All right, that's all I got. Peace out, love revolution, in full effect.